Um, I want to know about um, your or how you even got started on BeatStars or how you found us. And maybe you can talk about um, some of the ways that that's been able to support you reaching your dreams. Yeah, uh, I can guess go real quick first on this one. Um, mine, like I said, everything kind of happened very quickly for me. Um, I remember like I started in artistry and like rapping and stuff like that. That was kind of like my first take to music and eventually started making beats. Um, but I was like solely on YouTube and just kind of posting things there, took a very long break and then came back and just got consistent with it. But the channel just started blowing up really, really quickly and I couldn't keep up with it. It was emails of, hey, let me buy this beat, MP3 and this. And I was like, what the heck are these people talking about? And um, so a good friend of mine had told me, he was like, hey man, just make a beat stars and sell your beats. And I was like, okay, yeah. So I just went in one day and I spent like a whole weekend because I had like 40 beats. So I had to upload the stems and everything, but got my pro page set up. And that was like, it definitely was a game changer. Because like I said, it all happened so quick. I didn't really know that there was a market for buying beats. And like, I didn't think people actually did it. And then, um, you know, just kept going and going to the point where it's like, now it's just not a website to sell beats. You're connecting with artists, other producers. You're like, there's actual following on there as well, which is super helpful. Um, but yeah. Um, I want to come back to you to talk about your blowing up <laughs> across YouTube and BeatStars. But um, Gabe, I, I have the same question for you. How were you, how did you find BeatStars and, and maybe what made you feel like this was home for you as far as BeatStars publishing goes? Absolutely. Um, so the way I initially got into it was uh, my buddy Danny um, also works at uh, BeatStars, Danny Kramer. Oh, Shout out Danny Kramer. Uh, <laughs> one of the best gentlemen in the whole game. God bless him. Um, he started working at BeatStars and said, hey man, you should make a BeatStars. And I wasn't sure, but I started looking at the site and because I, in my head, I was like, oh, you know, that's it's trap beats on the internet. Like, that's cool. But as I dug into it, I saw, wow, this is so much more. Like, this is a whole community. This is exactly the same thing that we're doing when we go to the studio or we go to a function and we meet people uh, and, and give them music to work on. This is just happening over the internet. Like, I've been very blessed to be active in the New York community. Uh, you know, go out, see this rapper, that rapper, that singer, meet them, talk to them. Oh, man, we should work on something together. When COVID came around, like, that's not really something we're able to do anymore. But the community is still there, it's just online, and it's on BeatStars. And I realized it was so much deeper than just trap. There's a space for, for all kinds of music on here. Uh, actually, in particular, man, Eerie Skies was kind of a kind of a, a big inspiration for that, man. So uh, I, you know, it, was, it was so cool to see, like, hey, here's the opportunity to get music out to new people and see who does something really interesting with it. Um, and that that community is what really what made it feel like home. 